Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video guys. Today I'm attempting a solo survival challenge for 48 hours. Completely alone with nothing but this knife. You give me this knife. You re just did it again. <laughs> what? This knife. You may remember this from the Dolan Twin survival video I did. We never really used this and they couldn't take it back on the plane. So I'm going to be using this badass giant looking machete thingy. I've been guilty of making a crappy solo survival video in the past where I use way too much stuff. So I'm going to honor the title of this YouTube video and I'm going to survive with purely just this knife, my board shorts and my Superfire Shorehawk tank top that you can get at shorehawk.co. Nothing else. I hiked out here this morning. I'd say it's about 7.30 now. Let's get the timer ticking officially right now. It's Tuesday morning, so I have to survive till Thursday morning with no food, no water, no shelter, nothing. Not even any shoes. I'm serious, just this knife. That is the only thing I got. I sculled as much water as I could this morning, but I've had zero food and I like to eat in the morning. So I say we get out there and we get hunting. Stick around guys, because I think it's going to get pretty crazy. <sighs> Food and water are my number one priorities. I'm not too fussed about building a you know, huge big shelter because that's just gonna waste energy. The first thing that I need to do is find where I can get safe drinking water and a little bit of food to get my day started because I need some kind of energy, something to wake me up and get me motivated to get through this first day. So I'm gonna be keeping my eyes peeled for that. Yes. As you can see, I've already found a huge ant's nest. Now you may have seen these guys attacking me before. <laughs> It was not fun. They're pretty gnarly, so I don't know how they're gonna go down, but I think we should eat a few of these. Ah, got you, mate. Mm, mm. Bit my lip. Ah. Oh, they're biting me. I need a few more of these guys. See them in there? Oh, they bite. Oh. They have a really horrible taste. Kind of tastes like poison. I think I might keep going. I've had a few of these guys. Ah, oh, they're all over the camera too. Oh, let's keep going. What have we got here? There could be something here that I could use to help me survive. We'll have a little look. Oh, what about this? I don't really think I can use this for anything. It doesn't quite bend properly. Hmm. The only thing I can really see Myself getting out of this is a hospital trip either via snake bite or tetanus. So yeah, we might keep moving. It doesn't look great. Really don't want to get bitten by a snake out here because I didn't bring a phone, which was probably a dumb idea. We'll leave this rusting pile of tetanus alone and keep looking for anything, rope, rubbish, anything that can help me survive. Just some kind of materials. I just don't see a need for that stuff right there. <sighs> look at that. All these creeks just dried up. <clears throat> oh man. So these trees here are the Australian gum tree. Really beautiful tree, but they have these things on them called squiggly gums or scriggly, scri scriggly, scribbly, scribbly gums. I'm trying to give you some facts here, but I've kind of forgotten about it, but I just know that, yeah, there's like a moth that starts its life in there, eats out the bark, it hatches and it flies away. And they're all over these beautiful gum trees. Oh, that could be a funnel web spider hole. That's like a web or something. Oh God. Funnel web spiders are extremely dangerous. I kind of want to show you guys. Nah, nah. We're on a survival challenge. I'm not getting bitten by a funnel web spider straight up. Oh gosh. Shouldn't even be touching this tree. All right, let's move on. Our first signs of water. That looks disgusting. No way. We found the swamp. <sighs> yeah. I definitely can't drink that water unless it's um, purified somehow. But I can definitely eat anything that's living in here. I should make a spear and try and get a fish. I know for a fact that there'd be some little fish and some big eels in here. Yeah, and then I can wait out on a log and try and spear something that goes past. But there's definitely some stuff in here that I could uh, try and hunt. Let's go make a spear and see what we can do. I think this will be the perfect thing for a spear. And I'm using the saw part of this machete, which is really epic. We'll clean, cut this cleanly off, and then we'll start to shape the spear tip. There we go, super straight, nice and flexy spear. Mm. Oh yeah. That's it. Cool. 
Something moved up there. I see the ripples. Every time I'm out here trying to do something like this, they all start laughing at me. <clears throat> that was so loud. A small fish just came through. I have no idea what kind of fish it was, but I took a shot. Yeah, missed it. Watch out, watch out. I saw a few frogs and a few of the world's smallest fish. I don't think this creek is providing what I need. I definitely need something that's going to be a bit bigger than what's in here. So I'm thinking we may move on. Let's keep going. This is Lantana, it's an invasive species that lives here in Australia. I can't stress enough how difficult this is barefoot, guys. You just don't understand when you're on the other side of the computer, but my feet are on fire. I'm gonna head towards the mangroves now, though. It's gonna be a long walk, and I'm starting to get really hungry, but there's just nothing out here in the bush for me. That's my element, that's my prime, and I know what I'm doing around there. This is gonna be hard, but I knew it would. I wanna challenge myself. Let's do it. We're back guys, it's a couple of hours later. Sun's starting to head down. I'd say it's maybe three or four o'clock. I'm not exactly sure. My main concern is finding shelter because the temperature's dropping quickly. I am worried that I might get a bit cold. So what we gotta do is find somewhere that we can stay for the night. Actually, just looking, look at this spot. There's a big uh, falling down tree up here. I could just sort of use that to my advantage. Guys, I think that might be my camp. I can clear this out a little bit. Looking around this broken tree, this area looks the nicest here. It's sort of covered on each side. Feels like I'm protected. Look, it's not going to be the most pleasant night. But then again, I've had plenty of nights where I've just slept on the sand at the beach and it's been fantastic. I mean, that's been after a few beers, but still. It should be the same, right? I'm not fussy, to be honest. You guys know me. I could probably just sleep on this log if I wanted to, but... I think I got a little bit sunburned today. Can't be getting burnt because it's just so dangerous out here to be fully exposed to the sun all day. Let's just build this camp. Let's see if we can get something makeshift done for tonight. All this grass could make a, a good makeshift pillow. Let's see how it goes. This is so bad. I can't believe I'm about to sleep in this just pile of itchy grass. <sighs> Yeah, I could sleep like this. Easy. Oh. And I wanted to catch a glimpse of that sunset. Wow. Look at that. I used to do this a lot as a kid. It's so cool. But pretty much as soon as that sun goes down, you go to bed. There's nothing else to do. Came out here and I thought, I'll have a look at that. Here's the mud flats. We're going to be hunting way down there tomorrow. Hopefully we get a big mud crab or something. That'll pretty much fill me up for the entire day because I don't eat a lot. One big meal would be perfect for tomorrow. And we just got to get through tonight. Isn't that just a beautiful sunset though? I can't believe it. All right, I might go back and just do a few more arrangements to the camp before it gets dark. Wow, it's really setting in now, isn't it? Oh man, it's cold. It's Australia though, I'll be right. It's not, it's not really that cold, but I mean, maybe I should have just want a shirt so i've realized that i didn't bring any lights even just to film with because i told myself i'd just have the gopros and the the knife we're about to lose all visuals this is kind of spooky it's just gonna be completely black and you're not gonna see me at all camp looking like an absolute slender man den god what am i doing to myself it actually looks a little bit cozy look at that that's home and uh i'm officially back at camp I don't know if you guys can see me. It's still a bit bright, but the GoPro's looking really dark. Just try and get the best sleep that I can, prepare myself for tomorrow. This is like one of the craziest things I've ever done on my channel. The bed's pretty cozy. There's no mozzies, no midges, and I'm just chilling. I don't want to use too much battery up because we got tomorrow to get through. I guess I'll see you guys in the morning or I'll turn the GoPro on if anything happens tonight. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> Wish me luck. What is that? 
I've been in and out of sleep all night, guys, and I've been hearing this thing just sort of came up to me. That was really scary. I think it's a bird or something, though. All right, guys, well, I'll check in with you in the morning, I guess. <sighs> There was a lot of noises last night. <clears throat> I had one of the worst sleeps of my entire life. So much noise in the bush, it was so scary. And then as soon as it went dark, the dew just like hit the ground and I was freezing. I'd say it's probably like maybe six. Oh, five, 536 ish. There's that sun coming up. Oh, wow. Look at that sunrise. That's absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's magnificent. Look at the beautiful reflections. And that sun's finally up now, and what it's gonna do is just burn off that layer of dew and fog that's sitting on the ground. Oh, I just realized something, I can use that dew to drink water. I'll use my shirt or something to collect it. Crap, we gotta get some water before that sun's up, guys. Sun's pretty much up now, and just walking through this grass, it's super damp. What I'm thinking of doing is, even though this is my only shirt, dragging my shirt along the ground, collecting all the dew, as much as I can of it, onto my shirt, and then just squeezing it out. That should be clean enough to drink, because it's just sitting on grass. Oh, it's probably not gonna be the cleanest, because um, I've got sweat and dirt in this. Oh. Oh well, I need to drink water because I'm about to have a huge day. We're gonna get this water now because the sun's just come up. It's gonna burn that dew off instantly. Yes, it's gonna work. It's working, my shirt's completely damp. Mm, so good. I can't believe this actually worked. Yes. yes! Now it's probably time I build myself a spear or something for the mangroves. Do you see that little guy right there? It's a little wallaby. Fortunately, everything in here is like paper bark trees, this stuff. Which, it's nice and straight, but snaps quite easily, so I'm not quite sure where to get a spear from. <laughs> It's important that my shirt dries before I uh, put it back on tonight because I'll be very cold and it'll be a very bad sleep. So I've got this shirt out in the sun now and I'm about to head over to the mangroves. <sighs> Let's do this. Oh, Do you hear my stomach? Wait, listen. Oh, did you hear that? Man, I'm getting so bloody hungry, it's not funny. Right, where's my spear? Oh, it's all the way over here. Can't believe it, guys. I've been walking around for like two hours probably now, and just nothing. And my stomach just, you can't even hear it, but it just keeps going off. Man, I don't know whether I should give up or if I should just wait out the last night and then be done with it in the morning. So I complete the challenge, but I don't really eat anything. The sun is extremely hot, so I don't really want to get sunburnt, mainly just my shoulders, my top of my chest, and my giant forehead. Usually gets burnt the most. I made it back. That was the longest walk, and here's my shirt. Oh, it's dry as. Yes. Probably just gonna wash myself off, because I don't want to sleep with this mud on, and then I might just go chill in camp, yeah. All right, this has been one of the hardest videos I've ever made. Oh yeah. 
Just built some upgrades to the cubby. The cubby, <laughs> the camp, I don't know. I'm acting like a kid right now because I'm out in the bush building hotspot. Now we've got a bit nicer of a spot under there to lay, just a bit more protected. Bed doesn't look too bad now, does it? <sighs> For some reason, I'm less hungry the Savo than I was this time yesterday. Like, I think it's just got to that point where my body's just accepted that I'm not eating and it's just sorting itself out. I don't know, I feel fine. The shreds are probably gonna be great too. I've probably lost a few kilos. I'm pretty bored by now, as you can imagine. I just gotta get through one more night. Trying to entertain myself with a bit of a machete throwing. Nah. Dilly. All right, we finally got one. And I've just noticed something's coming out of that. I don't know if you can see it, but we got hella ants nest. Thank you. Oh, crap. <coughs> Woo. Last night, baby. And then I'm home tomorrow. What the hell is that? It's just a tree, jeez. I thought that was a person. I've had a big day today, guys. I think I'm just gonna go to bed now. And as soon as I wake up, we are going home. I'll see you guys in the morning for a celebration, all right? See you guys. We did it, guys. We did 48 hours out of here alone. Even though we only ate like three ants, <laughs> we still did it. That's what the challenge is, right? Last night was a bit of a better sleep, even though I was up all morning. Can't wait to get out of here. <coughs> Beautiful morning. I still don't think you can see me, but I'm starting to see that orange light peeking through the trees there. Because I guess I gotta wait till the sun actually comes up and then um, the challenge is completed. <sighs> I'm gonna miss you, camp. You guys can probably not see that, but grab the old knife. Let's go check this sunset out. <laughs> sunset? Guys, I'm out of it. Ugh. It's still so surreal to me that we actually stayed out here. I'm gonna miss waking up to those birds in the morning though. It's really actually nice. Early nights. Ugh. Earlier mornings. <laughs> Need some shoes. Ugh. Look at those reflections. <laughs> oh, Bob Wire. Could the sun take any longer? I'm freezing. Can't wait to go home and have a shower, have some water, and just chill out. Can't believe we did it, mate. Just me and you. Can't wait to talk to another human. It's been too long. The day's over guys. We completed the 48 hour solo survival challenge. This bad boy can go back in the sheath and I can go home. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, maybe think about subscribing and staying around for some future content. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I would really, really appreciate it. I don't usually do this. We're almost at 100K followers. So I think we're sitting at 98K. It'd be really cool if we could get over to the 100K. That's a bit of a milestone. I'll be posting on there a lot more. We're so close, so check it out. If you like it, give it a follow. If not, keep scrolling. If you want some merch, you know where to get it. The links below thank you guys so much i can't wait any longer i'm going home i'm drinking some water i'm having a shower i'll edit this video for you guys man i feel like we've just been through something together me and you that sun's up now so i'm out of here Woo! let's go